Well, welcome back once more, all my vintage dirt bike loving YouTubers, and thanks for joining me once again as we continue to check out more of those classic machines from back in the day. Now, as usual, we have some fantastic bikes lined up for you coming soon here to my channel, but in this particular occasion, we are going to concentrate on a very rare British classic as we check out uh, Colin Lee's very rare 1979 CCM Hyro 250. Now this very rare machine is basically a 1979 CCM frame fitted with an Italian Hyro 250cc two-stroke motor. Now the machine's owner Colin Lee from Hexham in the UK purchased this very bike along with another similar 125cc model from a seller in Scotland in 1989. Now both bikes had never ever seen a drop of fuel in their tanks and had been dry stored for at least 10 years at the time of purchase. Now Colin kept both bikes up until 1994 when things started to get a bit tight for him financially and he was then forced to sell them on. But mind you, he never sold them to the first person who appeared with the ready cash in their pockets. Colin only managed to sell both the bikes back to the actual company who built the bikes originally, Austin and Alan Clues of Clues Competition Machines. Now when Alan Clues purchased the bikes from Colin, uh, both bikes were put on display in the CCM company boardroom where they sat proud for all to see for the next 17 years. Now this featured machine is number 23 of only a production run of 85 bikes ever made in 1979. Now there were a further run of 27 machines made in 1980, but these were of a very different specification from these older 79 uh, machines. Now I already have a video posted on one of these 1980-250 Hyros uh, on my YouTube channel, so uh, just check that out if you'd like to see one of these 1980 machines. Now, of course, in 1979, uh, CCM were using these Italian Hyro 250 two-stroke motors in their bikes, and uh, many people still ask as to why uh, they decided to use this Italian motor as opposed to any other manufacturer's uh, engine. And uh, the reason was basically because CCM had a contact through legendary trials rider Sammy Miller, who was actually developing this 250 Hyro motor with a view to putting it in a trials bike. So uh, CCM then used uh, Sammy Miller's contact and uh, bought a batch of these 250 Hyro motors to put in their 1979 and 1980 machines. But I have it on good authority from Austin himself that these were excellent little engines uh, they performed very well and were very reliable and uh, hence the reason another reason why uh, CCM chose these very light and very strong little 250 Hyro motors now from what I can recall at the time the uh, CCM and 79 were using these uh, Marzocchi uh, front suspension units which were very good of course for the time uh, compared to modern day suspension units maybe these were not the best but for 1979 these uh, Italian suspension units did their job amicably on this uh, 250 CCM machine Now this bike of course is 100% original from 1979, there has absolutely no parts been
changed on this bike. Uh, this machine still has its original Olin's rear suspension with those uh, very nice uh, remote reservoirs. Now of course uh, for 1979 CCM had this uh, chrome plated frame but for the 1980 model uh, CCM would then revert back to the painted uh, frame rather than this uh, chrome plated affair. But uh, all the parts on this bike are still as they were in 1979. Now as rare as this machine is, it's certainly not a show bike because Colin still races this bike uh, frequently at uh, classic and vintage race events up and down the country and uh, Colin really enjoys uh, slinging his leg over this uh, little piece of uh, CCM history. Now of course there are not many of these uh, CCM high roads still in existence, there are very few. As I mentioned earlier there was only an original uh, very short production run of these bikes made so it's not surprising that there are not uh, many left but it's great to see that we have this uh, lovely original 1979 example uh, still racing on the track. Now Colin's fuel tank here on his CCM uh, looks like it's uh, just been painted yesterday but uh, yet again this is the original uh, paint from 1979 on Colin's machine. As you can see it's uh, stood the test of time very well. Now once again the seat is still in its original 1979 configuration and uh, these were a very comfortable place to lay your backside when you were doing a full race scramble moto. Now the original parts on Colin's bike of course just keep coming as uh, this is still the original uh, Magura grips and uh, gasser from 1979. Obviously a bit uh, the worse for wear but uh, that's got to be expected of a bike of this vintage. Now one of the other very rare things on Colin's machine is this uh, original CCM bar pad. Now these are very rare items to have on any CCM machines, let alone these 1979 machines. And uh, it's good to see that Collins still has its original bar pad. Now from this rear view we can see the plastic air box which was quite common on motocross machines uh, around 1979 and 1980. And once again, all the original plastics on this machine uh, still not showing very many signs of wear and tear considering this bike is coming up for about 40 years old. But overall, these were very good bikes to have in 1979 with that CCM frame and that uh, well-proven little Italian-made two-stroke uh, Hyro motor. Now as I mentioned earlier, Colin still races this bike at many vintage and classic race events. Colin also has a few other machines in his collection, of course along with another lovely 1980 250 CCM Hyro, which you may have already uh, had a look at here on my YouTube channel. But this is a very rare little machine indeed, this uh, 1979 uh, CCM of Collins. Now after 1980 CCM then became involved with supplying motocross and enduro bikes to Can-Am in the United States where of course CCM then chose Rotax Motors 
to become their power unit in their future machines. But despite the bike's rarity, Colin still uses this machine very regularly and it's thanks to Colin that he's keeping this uh, CCM Hyro uh, affiliation alive by uh, keeping this bike out there on the track. So I hope you enjoyed having this very brief look at uh, Colin Lee's 1979 CCM Hyro. Uh, don't forget there will be more uh, racing machines and classic dirt bikes from back in the day coming soon to my YouTube channel. So once again, thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll see you soon.